Frontline workers in Arizona have proven to be true heroes throughout this pandemic. We know this, right? Many hospitals, even in the beginning, had to struggle to get enough PPE to keep them safe. And now new measures of prevention are being explored for COVID-19, some of which will be introduced this weekend through the American Biodefense Institute. So joining us uh, to talk about this is Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar. We had some technical difficulties getting him on the Zoom. So uh, we've got him on the phone right now to talk about some of these innovations being explored, including what I understand is described as an ingestible PPE. So how is this a part of your Reopen America plan? And is this safe? Have these products been tested? And are they ready for uh, our heroes who have been working on the front lines? Well, thank you. Uh, you know, one of the things that we did uh, for this was that from the time the uh, pandemic was uh, it came to be, we had not really no uh, ideas what how we could mitigate it till we could get uh, to a final solution. And so we used uh, the DARPA, which is the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, that streamlined to get these products up and running. And these these are a lot help us to do what they call uh, passive immunity. And uh, so some of these things that uh, this company has actually done is, is actually looked at it, boosting our immune system uh, from those that are, are providing. Uh, this, this is like an inhaled mist, very safe uh, from what we can tell. Um, but what we want to be able to do is, is provide another layer of protection uh, in the mitigation of the pandemic. So, Congressman, we're talking about exploratory products right now that will uh, potentially enhance our levels of protection in months and years to come. Right, right. Uh, so, so one of the things that we've seen in this is, is a delayed response. Uh, we, we weren't very prepared for this pandemic. And so what this, this group does is because they use this DARPA uh, facil- uh, protocol, they're much faster streamlined um, and it, it intertwines... Uh, a biodefense with uh, biohygiene. So kind of thinking about kind of doing a pre-med, like if you were going to the dentist to get your teeth clean and you had a, a condition that you needed an antibiotic before you go in there, so less than a chance of getting an infection or passing on an infection, it could kill you. That's the same kind of protocol that we're looking at here that would mitigate the process so we could get to something like a cure like a vaccine. Yeah, that analogy makes a lot of sense. And certainly in a crisis, uh, innovative minds come together and um, really can come up with some great ideas. So we'll be watching this as it moves forward. Congressman, you have, though, been criticized for not taking the pandemic seriously enough, suggesting it'll disappear after the election. Um, so the, for those healthcare workers that have all along been telling us and pleading with us to please take this seriously, to please follow the recommendations and treat this as a serious health crisis. Um, how do you explain both of these conversations that we're having right now? Well, the thing about it is, is uh, uh, when you look at a, a vaccine that would come on the marketplace, not everybody's going to use a vaccine. Uh, there, there's a l- number of people in the United States that will not take a vaccine. So there has to be other alternatives for them. Now, to take it seriously, we should take every uh, disease seriously, just like the flu. Uh, just like uh, uh, mental illness, we're seeing a cascading effect in regards to suicides, drug overdoses, uh, uh, domestic violence, in regards to the way that we're handling this process. Uh, so one of the things I said from, from day one is this is a wake-up call for us to take care of ourselves. Eat well, sleep well, uh, get your good nutrition, uh, get outside, expose yourself to the to the sun, particularly uh, your belly area, so that you get plenty of vitamin D, so that your immune system becomes very uh, engaged. It's not a matter of if you're going to touch this virus. It's when you're going to touch this virus, and you want to do it on your terms, when you're the strongest and when the virus is at its weakest. I don't know how much more I can say to make sure that that's very, uh, very aggressive. Well, thank you very much uh, for spending some time with us this morning. And uh, sorry about the technical difficulties, but glad we could speak to you this morning, Congressman Paul Gosar.